Hello everyone, this is A.L. Think Madame and Cinnamon Sugar and I'm on my way home. <sighs> I just went and ran a couple of errands after I got off work. Y'all, I'm sorry about the, um, <laughs> I, got, I got the situation going on again, but that's my fault. Anyway, so I know I haven't talked to you guys in a couple of days. I actually was going to do the recap review for uh, Ready to Love Miami on yesterday. But yeah, I was exhausted. And the same thing that's always going on was going on. And when I was trying to watch the show since I was already up and being kept up, I was so exhausted that I was, you know, falling asleep but still being awakened by the foolishness. So, it, I mean, I couldn't win for losing, y'all. I was so tired. Anyway, uh, and I really actually was like, you know what, since I'm getting off on time today, let me go on ahead and just get home, eat, and watch the show. Yeah, I was disturbed the entire time. So, uh, and I was tired, so couldn't do nothing. Uh, and then I laid down super early, way earlier than I want to lay down because, you know, I got to try to do what I got to do until these folks get evicted, child, so... I was just like, I really shouldn't have to do this. But I couldn't even go to sleep then. It's like they know. It's like they can sense that I'm trying to sleep. And then they just set it off. Like, it really felt, it sounded like somebody was dragging stuff across the floor. And like, y'all, I just can't. I don't be understanding. As loud as it is for me, <laughs> I'm like, ain't no way y'all don't hear that and are now annoyed by it as the parents. Or the so-called wannabe should have been you know, should be parents, child. I don't, I don't be understanding. But anyway, um, let me catch y'all up on what's been going on. So y'all know I've been at work. My last day of the work week until they, you know, change everything up for me is going to be um, tomorrow. And then I'm going to be off. Um, nothing should happen to where I don't get my day, so I'm not worried about that. Um, they done sat up here and paved the road for no reason over here, child. I'm like, what is going on? And, uh, what is going on? And then they tell my bump. What is going on? Why? What was the re? I don't understand. There was literally nothing wrong with this road, and they just they just be coming and just paving for no reason. Child. Anyway, I I don't understand. My bad, y'all. This was so random. Like it just came out of nowhere. And anyway, because I ain't been. I mean. This, they just did this because I rode, I ride the same way every day. So it's like, it's not like this is some random street I'm on that I ain't been down in months. But yeah, they done did this for no reason. Anyway, um, so let me catch y'all up on what's been going on. So y'all know I've been at work. Child, yesterday they put me in the um the new department and I was just like, I'm over it. I'm, I'm over it. I already knew I was going to be over it before I ever even stepped foot back there. Like ever. And when I mean ever, I mean when they had us doing something and it ain't have nothing to do with the actual department outside of the fact that it was stuff that came from that department. Yeah, I still ain't having it. I ain't want no, no parts of it. Child, so today was my second day back there. The first night I was back there, it was fine. I'm, I'm pretty much training or whatever. And they do have training by my name. Child, I'm just, it, it, you got, they working a mule out of you. And don't want to pay you. I'm tired of this person coming over here. So this is the situation with this car. Okay, well I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be too mad because they ain't in my parking spot right now. Okay, I, I'm not gonna be too mad. But this is the situation with the car that I told y'all about before. That's been all of a sudden just there. The car at one point in time would not even crank up, and I think somebody had been fixing on it, fixing on it, fixing on it, and now it works well enough for them to get from point A to point B. So get around, car, or whatever. That's cool. Do what you do. It's normally just in the back. Child, they've been coming out of nowhere, just parking up front on the street, and I'm like, why? What? What? What is? What is the meaning of this? I mean, they are still kind of parked in my parking spot, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain, Lord. I'm not gonna do it. I'm. I'm not gonna do it anyway. But yeah, I'm just like, why? What is the reason? You was doing. Like, I don't understand. They be doing so good. Anyway, let me let the window up, cause. I think they be sitting outside. Um, somebody been sitting outside lately. I'm like, and who is this? 
Yes, I'm up on your car because you ain't have no business. You ain't have no business. Let me stop, y'all. Anyway, um, my bad. And why did that come on? I didn't know that that's how I could do that. <laughs> that's so random. Y'all, I thought I had to do other stuff for the music to come on if I'm recording like this. Oh, I didn't open the door for no reason. I thought I turned the car off. The music scared me a little bit. Threw me off. That's what it did. But anyway, so, y'all... Um, I can't. Y'all, the black owned businesses um, whipped um, body butter, if you will. Oh, my hair hurting. Y'all, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's what I don't, I don't understand. Like, you normally park in the back because it's like, what? what's the reason? Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, who am I? So, y'all, the first day which was yesterday that I was working in that department. I mean, it was it was exactly as as I expected it to be trash. <laughs> like I'm just like Okay, this is the problem. This is the problem. Well, this is my problem. Y'all want me to go over there and Y'all don't want to pay me what I deserve to be paid when I'm over there. But there are people who that's their department and they do what I do or less. And you're going to pay them more than what I get paid. Even on the shifts that normally have a lower, a lower, excuse me, pay differential. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. And then like today, I learned a little bit more. So it's like, uh-uh, this is stuff that I've done before. Like, <laughs> it jogged my memory. I was also, all you got to do is, is it, once they started kind of telling me certain things, I was like, oh, I've done this before. So all you got to do, and they were like, yeah. Like, y'all don't even understand how many things popped off today that I already knew about and or things that I was supposed to be learning that I already knew how to do. It's like, child, Y'all need to run me my money because experience at this point. Child, anyway, anyway, so I have a right to feel the way that I feel about the financial aspect of it. Run me my money. Don't sit up here and tell me, this is what they've told us, y'all, and I'm still mad about it because it's like, that's that's not it. And somebody else who works in a, a way more higher paying capacity than me was reading today like not back then today about this this situation child how you gonna sit up here and say oh well y'all have been compensated the people that do my who have my job title well y'all have been compensated we gave y'all an extra whatever amount of money um so that when y'all do get drafted and they have to go over there um essentially that's your pay no it's not that's not fair that that's it's not cool it's not fair them people get paid Way more than like it, 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 you can see the difference between the paychecks. If they work 40 hours and I work 40 hours, like if I was to work over there 40 hours and they was to work over there 40 hours in the same capacity, why don't we get paid? I, I can't because I got to put my name and signature and dates and all these other things and clock in and all kinds of other stuff in a way where you know I am over there. You know that those signatures, even if you can't read it, you know it's me. But I have very legible, my, my handwriting is pretty impeccable, uh, if I do say so myself. People have always told me that my handwriting is awesome. So it's like, y'all know I'm over there. I got to sign off on stuff. They had me signing off on stuff yesterday. I was like, come, child, this woman ran up on me and was like, hey, I need for you to verify this. I said, excuse me. I mean, I hadn't even been over there for an hour yet. This random woman rolled up on me, somebody who like does audits and stuff. I was like, if you don't get out of my face, and then it's something that they don't even uh, have us doing anymore. They call themselves trying to kind of like take off a few of the things that they have added in as the time has gone by talking about oh y'all gotta do this and y'all gotta do this and y'all gotta do this but again you ain't paying us the money you know you're wrong so you know outside of the financial aspect <sighs> they don't have it the way it needs to be 
And what I feared is exactly what is going on, which is they did not do what they needed to do before officially saying, all right, we're up and operational. Like, no, work out the kinks first. That's what they did in my last job. In my last job, I just so happened to be working in, in an apartment that was going to be like way upgraded in ways that they were so dead set on getting it right or as close to right before anybody else had any dealings with it that even if you wanted the overtime, you wasn't going to get it unless you already was in that department. If you wasn't already in my department, you wasn't getting it on their shift. So for six to nine plus months, nobody could work over there doing what we were doing. We were working mandatory tw seven days a week during the pandemic, before the pandemic, and especially during the pandemic. They tried it. They was trying us lever. I was like, oh, oh my God, somebody please. It was so bad that whenever I needed something done, I had to, on a Monday, come straight in the dough, like, hey, um, I'm not going to be here on Saturday. Because normally, if, if I'm going to do something, I got to do it on a Saturday or something or on a Friday or child. Like, normally, it was something I had to get done to my car. So, I had to tell them, all right, I'm not going to be here on Saturday. Like, my inspection coming up. But y'all always trying somebody, so... I can't even do what I need to do for that. So I would legit have to be like, okay, I'm not going to be here because they made it mandatory. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to keep, I don't, I don't like my car to cut, cut on and be on and all this other stuff. My bad. But I have to do the absolute most just to make sure that everything is up to standard. So I don't get pulled over and then I get an extra ticket on top of speeding or whatever it might be. For, like, I don't, It's like they just know. It's like the police officers just know. They just be like, ooh, I, I could just feel that this heifer didn't get, didn't get her stuff up to date. Like one time my inspection failed, right? And I had a certain amount of time that I had to get, you know, the part and stuff done and all this other stuff. So I think this was pre-COVID. Man, I'm talking about driving home. The police was trying me. I was like, somebody please, somebody please. All I was doing was driving to the house, honey. I understand I got a rejection sticker on my car. I got two, them people, I had to show them the paperwork showing that I got the rejection sticker and I had to show them the dates. And it was just, I just be like, y'all be doing too much. The only thing that I like about having the inspections and stuff is that it kind of forces you to do what you're supposed to do. Unless you go to some kind of shady place to get your inspection stickers from. There are some of those around here. When I needed them, wouldn't nobody give up the information. Now that I don't need them, everybody named mama telling me about the places. And I'm like, because usually it was something I already knew that I needed to get done. I just had to get the money together. Y'all, I was making peanuts. I was making nothing at my last job, like absolutely nothing. So it was a miracle that I was able to pay this rent at this place I'm living in, put gas in the car, put food in my belly, and do anything else. Like, I don't know how, I really don't know how I've been surviving, y'all. I don't know, the, it, if, it, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be, where would I be? Look, I don't know why I be living for that. He kept my enemies away. What is it? He, he, he what? He made the sun shine to a cloudy day. I don't know. I think I missed that part up. But anyway, I don't know. That song be doing something for me a little bit. But I'm just saying. I'm, that's the only thing I can attribute to it, possibly. Because it's like, well, how? How? The, the math was not mathing with the financial aspect of it, child. I don't know how I was making it. But where I work now, I mean, I don't have to worry about nothing. I can do the things I want to do. I'm not making, like, I'm not rich. And I'm definitely not wealthy. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a step below. Um, rich is a step below or a couple of steps below wealthy. So, I mean, I'm making it. I'm doing what I, I, I'm doing added some more bills to the situation or whatever because out of necessity uh, i can't complain so y'all i'm just saying like y'all want to sit up here and underpay folks who gotta you working y'all when i tell you them people work the mule they be working the mule out of us 
And them people just, they, don't, they be getting paid all this money hand over fist, standing over there looking at us, doing nothing. I'm just like, this is how y'all, this, this is what I'm talking about. I don't like how people do stuff like that. You want to sit up there and underpay the people who actually are the ones setting it off on the left, right, front, and back. The hardworking people, the people who actually doing work, you want to underpay them. But you overpaying the people who ain't doing nothing. I can't. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I don't understand why y'all want to sit up there and just be like, oh, we want to get this up and going. We're going to get this up and going. And y'all behind schedule. Okay, you're behind schedule for a reason. How about you make sure it's right? How about you do that? And then I was told today that um, one of the people who was like, he's like a supervisor, I guess you could say, um, during the hours that I'm there, uh, I guess he works Monday through Friday or Monday through something because today was his first day of the week. Excuse me. So he introduced himself to me officially today. I've seen him before. We speak every day. We do see one another. I've never had any issues with him in passing. Um, so, you know, he was just... Um, officially welcome, welcoming me over there and all this. And I'm looking at him like, sir, I don't want no parts of this. You just don't even understand my disdain. You do not understand my disdain. I had never even set foot in this room before. I, I legit barely even knew where it was. And they had construction crews and everything. All I knew was that it was, I knew where it was supposed to be. But if you would have said, where is this? Where I don't know. I didn't care about no tour. I didn't care about nothing. I ain't care about none of that. I really didn't. So, this man really was welcoming me. He was very excited to talk to me. And he was like, oh, I heard your first day was yesterday uh, training. How was it for you? I hope you weren't too anxious. I was like, no, I was good. You know what I'm saying? He came to me at the end of the day, was asking me stuff. And he was like, man, I really thought everything was, was finally fixed. But no, I was looking at this man like, you did not have to lie to my face. All of the, when I tell y'all, almost everybody that I know who they have working on every shift. All of them are awesome workers, meaning they work their behinds off. When all of them told me that they hated over there, I'm like, oh, I definitely still don't want no part. I don't want no parts of it. So yeah, um, I I don't see the point, y'all. If y'all, I can't wait till I tell you. I cannot wait until I can tell y'all what what foolishness be popping off. Once I leave this play, I cannot wait. Y'all gonna be like, what? child I, I just can't so anyway um so yesterday you know i was just kind of following like two of the three people around because the third person their particular part that they were over it just wasn't doing what it needed to do and every time i was gonna just walk over there on my own and start kind of shadowing and seeing you know the difference because it's, it's essentially the same difference as one of the other uh parts of that department so it's it wasn't very much different it when i tell you it's like the slightest it's like almost non-existent difference so yeah um but i still wanted to go over there and see what it was hidden for and try to you know deal with it by myself and all that stuff but i couldn't because nothing was going on so today today the side heifer you know came back because her days are mondays through fridays hallelujah she hadn't been here on the weekends they haven't been drafting her yet um, you know, if she get drafted, she going to try her best to wiggle her way into uh, getting getting there uh, early instead of staying over. She she will bump. She will try her best to bump somebody else. So anyway, um, she saw me. Child, guess what? She in her feelings. She in her feelings because one of the ladies who has been training me, she got a job, a permanent job back there that the side helper applied for. This heifer is mad. People kept coming up to me saying, oh, you know, she got a job. We, we going to be down a person. I said, who? They said, her. She got the job. And the job pays well, like I'm saying. Now, with her, she's the type of person that even though she going to be doing what she doing back there, if she see us struggling and they ain't got nothing going on, she will come over there and help. Like, she is always eager to help. She got some, everybody got some stuff with them that work at that place. But I'm just saying she will work she believes in working that woman works so that's one thing you can't ever say about that heifer she worked so 
you know, I congratulated her and I told her I was happy for her that she got that job and all of that. But then somebody came to me and was like, well, you know, she put in a bid for the job and she ain't getting it. She mad. I'm like, how you mad? Like the better person got it. Y'all, I'm sorry. This is, this is the truth. If that woman had to put in a bid for it, and if it, if it had been between me and the side heifer, and I was still in the same predicament that I'm in currently, which is I had never in my life been back there, and she been back there ever since pretty much the beginning of it, them people would have gave me the job. <laughs> them people would have gave me the job and would have been like, yeah, we would like to go ahead and train you because we like your personality, and we like how you, you know, operate things. Oh, she would have probably slipped my ties, child. I'm just saying. <laughs> like you only, like you only, you've only been here two years. I've been here six years. How dare you? She's gonna be very upset, girl. You ain't gotta do it. It's the fact that I actually do what I'm supposed to do. I stay where I'm supposed to be at. Like it could be fully operational. That heifer will walk away and go stand in the mirror man face all day. Where that area is, it's a lot closer to where the married man works so it's all it's it's nowhere so chat <laughs> somebody who you know she hates told me that when they all have to work together because they've scheduled them to work together or whatever that she disappears a lot whether it's running or not and i'm like that don't make no sense but if it was me i would have been fired so um yeah speaking of the married man the OG married man. So I was coming back from, I think, my lunch break. And I saw him. So he waved. He was like, hey, how you doing? You can see a little bit of, a little bit of excitement in his eyes. I was like, child, that's all you're going to get is that. Because I don't understand why you rolling up on people asking me, asking about me. I, I don't understand. Like, he really be having people thinking that he trying to talk to me like actively trying to get at me or something and he trying to figure out what it's hidden for sir you don't need to know what it's hidden for i have absolutely nothing to give you you have nothing that i desire nothing at all <laughs> like no child I, my, my he would not be able to handle me i'm just saying like if we had to even go there and even create if if i had to fathom such a such a foolish scenario there's just people there's some people you know you could just look at them and be like you, you ain't gonna be hitting on nothing <laughs> like sir i ain't got time for it Child, when i tell y'all if this man was single and i was open to a friends with benefits situation i'm just looking at him like i just know you're gonna be trash like ain't nobody got time for nobody Nobody got time for a wasted body. What is we doing? Like, I don't know. I just can't do it. So, yeah. I, I'm i really trying to understand why is it that he goes to random people and ask about me. Like, it's not just the now divorced man who he rolls up on, who don't even work on our shift no more. It's like, why are you rolling up on random people? Random people that I work with. They're working the same, doing the same thing I do. It's like, why are you rolling up on people asking them this? Why y'all asking? Why are you asking them anything about me? I don't be understanding that child. Then the divorce man, he saw me a couple of days ago at work, and so he kept on walking because he was talking to somebody else. So I was like, okay. I said, please know that I'm not finna never sit up here and set it off and try to get your attention and be like, hey. Pay attention to me. Give me attention. Hey, do this. Like, no, I'm not doing none of that. So, as long as you know that, do what you do. But he was still trying to look and all this other stuff. Don't leave it. Look over here. Pay attention to the people that you're talking to. You on your way out. I'm on my way in. I was the breaker that day. And so, what I do is, if I'm running late or if I don't feel like waiting real quick, well, going to get my stuff, I'm going to go to the meeting and then i'm gonna come back i gotta show my face because y'all ain't finna sit up here and tell me oh you getting a half an occurrence because you went at the meeting nope you ain't gonna be able to get me baby so anyway that's what i did that day then the following day which was supposed to be his day off he rolled up and i was going where was i going was i already out there oh i was this was yesterday so he was supposed to be off yesterday 
So he was like, man, I can't never get my days off. Because he trying to talk to me all while I'm on the, on the way coming out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know he looking at me walk. I already know, like, child. But I got to walk over here and get my stuff. So um, went to the meeting for no reason. The people supposed to start having the meetings. Uh, initially, they wasn't having no meetings in the new department. They have a big old sign up there that says, starting on whatever day we supposed to have a meeting, and the people who come in behind us supposed to have a meeting. The only people who don't really have a meeting is the people who are kind of like the in-between, which are the people who come in right before us. So I was like, okay, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And I'm like, dang, it's fine till I ain't got time for this. So I don't think they're going to meet. So I started seeing the people come and they just go in a whole nother direction. I mean, I got there and I asked somebody, I said, where y'all meet at? And the guy told me where they meet. And I was like, oh, okay. So I stood over there. I mean, I got there early too because I was like, I, I could tell he's a, he's a stickler for all things. You know, you better do what you're supposed to do or I'm going to report you. Like, I ain't have time for it. So did nobody show up? Did nobody say nothing? Did no, I was just like, I ain't got time. So anyway, I was going to do it today. I said, nope. Everybody took their time getting back there yesterday and didn't know meeting happened. I'm going to take my time. But anyway, yesterday... I went back there for no reason, so I came back up the floor. So when I'm coming back up the floor, I see him at the corner of my eye. I said, dang it. I thought he wasn't here. So they had him come in. He mad because he looked at the schedule, and they said he was going to have to come in today uh, for four hours. So like I told you before, he was like, I can't never get my days off. So um, <clears throat> is that him? No, that ain't him. I was about to say it's got his. It's his same car. The guy who is um over, like he's like right below a supervisor. But yeah, he. I even know that what that was what his title was until today. That woman had the exact same car, same color, and everything. I thought it was him. I was about to say, wait a minute, sir. Which is somebody else who liked me. I wish everybody would stop liking me. Like Lord, tough. Um, but yeah, he over here trying to create a conversation. I'm saying to myself, sir, I do not care. He was like, I can't get my days off. And he trying to talk to me a little bit. And I'm like, yeah. And it's like I'm giving off. I'm really not here for it. So you might as well go ahead. So he know. Eventually when he get out his feelings, he going to be like, why you been acting funny? And why you been doing this? And I'm, I'm going to say <laughs> it hasn't been me who's been acting funny. I'm reciprocating energy. That is what I'm doing. I don't have time for the foolishness. Your wife back at the house your wife back at the house so i'm just like baby i ain't got time for it i'm definitely not I, I ain't got i don't have time to have to sit up here and wait for you to see when she gonna be out her feelings and all of that like what what they gotta do with me if we supposed to be doing something you know what i'm saying if we supposed to be trying to let me not even put it like that because it ain't we it's him you trying to get me you're trying to get me i can't even be brought up in a discussion to your wife because she gonna get in her feelings it's been months since y'all have been divorced so if i wanted to pull up at your residence i can't not even because of the fact the heifer decided to move back in now. If she wasn't at the house, if she decided to pop up, which she does all the time, that's a problem for me. I ain't got time for no heifer just popping up for no reason. Like, she just randomly pops up, and she'll just sit outside if he ain't there. Well, that's what she was doing before. And I'm saying to myself, sir, why didn't you get the locks changed? I don't, I don't, it's just too many things. It's just too much stupidity. Because I thought about that before all this popped off, and he was like, well, yeah. I'm going to have to talk to her and um, let her know that I'm dating and all this other stuff. I don't think she's going to take it too well, but oh well. And I'm like, okay, I hear you, but child, I ain't got time for the foolishness. Y'all do what you do. Um, But yeah, I, I ain't here for it. And I mean, I just feel like it's going to be more trouble than it's worth for me to seriously date this man. So I just, I just... I just try to cut off all feelings that I have ever felt for this man because the chemistry is there. You know how sometimes you deal with somebody and the chemistry is just there. Even when you don't want it to be and you ain't trying to have it be like that. But it is what it is. But anyway, overall, I had a good day. 
They can keep that new department. I can't. Anyway, I'm going to go in this house. We're going to see if I can do this recap review today, y'all. My bad if I can't. I'm going to try my best. All right, y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all later. Bye.